So on the count of three, once again, guys, let's take this valve cover off. One, two, three. What's going on guys, Geneva9 back at you again today. Thank you guys for tuning in once again to the channel. And today it's a, been a long time coming. I've been showing you guys my engine bay and my valve cover has been looking so, ugh, it's been yuck. I've been so embarrassed every time I pop my hood and you guys see my old and crusted valve cover. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the valve cover. Pretty quick, easy process. Let's go do it. So on the count of three, once again, guys, let's take this valve cover off. One, two, three. All right, let's pop this beautiful hood once again. And there she is, guys. Now you guys know why I'm so embarrassed to do close up on this valve cover, because it's just old and faded, guys. To see how nasty and dirty it, this valve cover is, guys, check out all that buildup. So I'm very glad that I'm going to be taking this valve cover off. Oh yeah, you like that? So the very first thing you guys want to do before you touch any electrical equipment in your car, you want to disconnect the battery. In this case, I disconnected the negative terminal and you should be good. I'm going to take off my JD Custom COP ignition system right here. See how beautiful that thing is. And I'm going to carefully take it off so I don't scratch it or anything like that. So I'm just going to remove these two bolts right there, two bolts right there, and then pop it up, and pop it up, pop it up, pop it up, and pop it up, pop out, pop out, and pop it up. Take out the COP carefully. So before I go on, if you want one of these beautiful crafted COP ignition system, guys check out John from JD Customs USA he does an amazing job on these coil on plug systems I leave it on the click on this little tiny eye bubble right here also check out on the description below now we got that off let's put that aside so now that we got the coil on plug system off we now can see the other bolts that are hidden underneath so you got about one two three four five six seven eight right inside alone you don't need to take out the the spark plugs in there because it's buried right underneath and the only thing we're going to be taking out is the valve cover anyways now we're going to be taking out the camshaft cover right here and we're also going to be taking off the hose connected right here and there should be another hose right there that we're going to be disconnecting and a few bolts here which i'll be showing you late in a bit all right, so let's take out the inside bolts first. So now guys, let's remove these two brackets right here that's holding this cable in place. Get your pliers and just take out the clamps right here. Loosen up the clamp right there and then loosen up the clamp on right there and disconnect those hoses. Now it's time to take out the six outer bolts off the valve cover. So you can see there's one, two, three on the back and we got one, two, three on the front Right when we get those off, we're going to take out the camshaft cover. Time to take out the camshaft cover. Looks like this is in the way, so I'm going to be unbolting this as well so I can get this valve cover off. Now we can pull this off. And there you have it. So now that we got the cam cover off, now we can pull this valve cover and lift it right up and that should be good to go. And, and there you go guys. And there it is, it's off. Put 
quick and easy. I know this is just the valve cover removal, but if you look at this valve cover, guys, it is hideous. It is just all, it is worn out, and it is just all dirty, gunked up in every single corner you can think of, and it needs a restoration, guys. So I wanna get to know your guys' take on it. Let me know in the comment section below what color you think this valve cover should be. I wanna know what your guys' color what you guys think so let me know in the comment section below guys what color should i paint this valve cover quick and easy guys what i did was i covered up the short block and all the internal parts the camshaft everything else with plastic so i don't get any debris or dirt in there while i restore that valve cover right there so guys that pretty much wraps up the whole video again that was pretty easy taking off that valve cover again let me know in the comment section below what color i should paint that valve cover um could be purple red whatever i would just want to know your guys' opinion and take on what color i should paint it and again guys thank you again for tuning in if you like this video please press that like button and please press that subscribe button so they can always be in tune on what's coming up with my evo build and again guys the engine bay is getting quite a bit of restoration and this is just one of the steps that i'm taking Okay guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you again. Have a good day.